You know what? If you came to me with a pitch and said, well, it's kind of like Pokemon, but you uh, dig and scrape to find fossils that get turned into dinosaurs yeah. that you take into battle, I would say, yeah, yeah, let's definitely green light that sucker. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, you'd be into it. We're talking about Fossil Fighters Frontier. Now, I played a Fossil Fighters game on the DS. I did not enjoy that that much. Okay, this is the third Fossil mm -hmm. Fighter ever to be released. It's my first experience with Fossil Fighters, and I do love Pokemon. Yeah. So I was excited to jump into this because it definitely has a Pokemon feel. Even when you first start, you create your character, you name her, really into her. I loved her ponytail. It was sticking straight up in the air. Yeah. Love that. Love your style, girl. My little bat wing guy, the yeah. dude, looks like he's wearing a chicken suit, though, which, oh. which was a little, uh, I didn't like it that much. Okay, so I you didn't, didn't like your guy's style. I didn't, I didn't like my style. I liked my style. Okay. You should play as the girl. There are some characters, some amazing video game tropes here, like the kid named Roly. Roland. Roland, yeah, yes, and he's the big one. Yeah. Sydney, he's the Australian one. And just uh, and Roland actually rolls into frame for the first time that you encounter him on his belly. Yeah, it's a little well, offensive. He, yeah, he he even says he's like a beach ball with legs yeah. and arms. It is offensive. There's a lot of things here that actually are even just even the interactions that are happening between the characters and and when your character runs into another character and they try to rope you into things and your character just goes willy nilly like they don't care. Sure, I'll get into some trouble. Yeah. Whatever. Sure, yeah. we'll see what kind of adventures we can get up to next. Yeah, because each one of the different non-player characters they they call them their other wardens, but some of them actually you can have them join your team as paleo pals later on. They all have their own ex centricities and their own attitudes and stuff. I, I didn't mind that. This is, I, I think, as all ages as Pokemon is, this is even a wider scope. I think this is even for, well, you know, people that haven't even played Pokemon. It's very accessible. For sure. You actually get to drive this vehicle called the Bone Buggy, which is an unironic name for this vehicle. It does skew to a younger crowd mm -hmm. here with a dialogue, especially, which you can easily skip through even if your kid can't read yet. <laughs> but just the, the actual excavation of bones, yeah. it seems so simple. Even if you bruise the bone when you're knocking it, it's still fine. You yeah. still get it and, and it's good. You always get a good. Yeah, and the, you're basically taking all of these fossils to assemble the skeletal structure of a dinosaur. Yes. You are finding gems and stuff that goes into the currency of the game. Yep. You can upgrade your truck and outfit yourself with all kinds of replenishments that you can then take into these turn-based battles. And the battles are very Pokemon-like. You've got dinosaurs fighting against dinosaurs on this kind of grid-shaped thing. There's also a little multiplayer opportunity in some of these arenas and stadiums. You have to do a ton of grinding to level up to get through every darn thing in this sure, thing. Sure, all of that. You're but right. I think this is one of those types of titles that if you dig dinosaurs and Pokemon, you're going to obsess over something. Pun intended, if right. you dig. Right. Because you are digging here. And that's the thing. What I love about this game, though, over Pokemon, is that when you do run into a place where you can dig, you can excavate. Instead of running into a Pokemon in the wild, yeah. you can dig whenever you want to dig. You'll run into it. You use your scanner on your bone B bone buggy. buggy. Say it. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> you, you scan in your bone buggy, yep. and then you can pick up where to excavate. And I love that you can excavate if you want, but you can also leave it be. This game, you're right, is interesting. I like that it's out there. Yeah. I'm just underwhelmed with every little section of it. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have the charm and the polish, I think, of the Pokemon titles, you know? Well, no, not at all. Pokemon's been around for so long, and I have such an attachment to it. Yeah. So maybe if I grew up looking for fossils and <laughs> fossil Dinosaurs fighting. Dinosaurs are and... still rad. Even these vivisaurs, as they call them, sure. with all of their colorful creations. This game is for kids and also for Ross Geller from Friends. What are you going to give it? <laughs> it gets a six. It gets a seven for me.